So hi, Micro Hunter here, all over here. I got a question uh, concerning amateur microscopy and the costs uh, of microscope. Hello, Micro Hunter. I saw many of your videos of your channel and I think that you are a professional microscope user. You have very expensive microscopes. I have the Reflector Digi Microscope, the Vario Abressa Biolux with an HD camera and the Reflector Digi Microscope USB 200. Are those good for amateur microscopy. Thank you very much for the question. Uh, just uh, to, for clear, to clarify this, um, the viewer has three microscopes. One of them is uh, yeah, a USB microscope that looks like, like this. I already made a few videos about this as a matter of fact. Um, and uh, the other one, the, the Bressa Biolux is an introductory microscope or is, um, and uh, yet the other one, the Reflected Digi Microscope, uh, that is actually um, um, uh, quite an interesting one. Is I've never seen something like this before. Um, yeah, it has a completely different uh, uh, yeah, uh, construction and design and the, uh, the question is is now is are they good uh, for amateur microscopy and I'm gonna uh, it's gonna be a very basic uh, answer here is this um, whether they are not good or good enough or very good for amateur microscopy does not only depend on the microscope itself but also on you who is using it. Um, the best microscope is the one that you'll end up using uh, most often and it depends uh, whether they're good enough or not, also on your observation interests um, and also on how serious you take amateur microscopy. Um, use them for nature observing and you make pictures using those microscopes, make a Facebook page or an Instagram page um, or a YouTube channel, um, a website to present these pictures um, and then you are a serious quote, um, amateur microscopist. It does not only depend on the microscopes. I mean, what's the point of having the most expensive microscope sitting around um, if you don't use it uh, properly? Um, so this is a little bit the thing that I want to uh, emphasize here is, is, is uh, the point of an amateur microscopy can also be or is also na observation of nature and exploring our environment. Um, and uh, you can do this with a different, uh, different microscopes. Um, and some of them are cheaper, some of them are more expensive, um, but uh, all of them can be be used to explore our environment. Now about my microscope here, which is indeed uh, when I bought it uh, in 1998, so 22 years ago, by the time of the making of this YouTube video, this was 22 years ago. Um, this was actually, uh, even at that time, quite expensive and I did some, some math and uh, with inflation and some calculation, I paid around um, the 5,000 euros using today's time, uh, today's currency, that is, uh, um, for, for this microscope. But you can get microscopes these days, also for around 300 euros, uh, that are able to uh, produce a very, very similar um, image quality because uh, over 20 years, um, there are more microscope companies now, um, also avail uh, around. So times have changed, you don't need to have a very expensive microscope. Um, so the point that I'm trying to make here is, is, is um, whether something is professional or amateur, it does not really depend on the equipment, uh, but it depends on, on actually how you end up using the microscope. I mean, just the microscopes that are nowadays introductory microscopes, I mean, in the 19th century, uh, folks would have been happy to have those. And people have been winning Nobel Prizes using technology that was far, far are inferior than what we have today. But those folks were actually doing serious research with those uh, limited, at that time, according to our current viewpoint, limited uh, technology, okay? Um, so um, everything's relative. And, and my general advice is, is, uh, is use the stuff that you have now, and exploit your microscopes to the very end, uh, put everything under the microscope, learn from the whole thing, share your pictures that you make with the microscopy community, um, and uh, hopefully sooner or later you will outgrow your microscopes. Um, I'm slowly also starting or have already outgrown even my microscope. That is the reason. Um, why I'm now really saving a lot of money for uh, yeah for another microscope that now kind of also helps me develop my microscopic observations in in the future. Okay, um, that's why I started a fundraiser and and I'm saving money and all of these things. Okay, um, also because the way that I define microscopy is because I want to share videos and pictures with the microscopy community, um, and for that again um, I need a microscope that is able to produce very good image qualities, which is maybe not the uh, 
is always the case with with uh, with other microscopes where your observation interests are different so you see it depends a little bit of what you want to do but my general advice is is whatever you have use it um, outgrow it uh, and uh, develop yourself uh, that's simply the thing that I uh, can recommend and uh, it's never gonna stop uh, it doesn't matter how expensive your microscope is or not is um, there's always something out there uh, that you want to have um, that you can strive to obtain but don't only look at the technology itself or the hardware itself but also make projects uh, I don't know if you're living in, in a place where there are a lot of flowers uh, collect all of the flower pollen that you find put them under your microscope and uh, take a picture of all of them catalog them okay well, why not uh, if you're interested in, in insect ob observation yeah put your insects insects um, under the microscope sand samples dust people collect dust dust is quite interesting as a matter of fact um, whatever it is uh, make sure that you have some kind of a project uh, that that keeps you engaged in the hobby um, and that kind of uh, also allows you to develop and from in my case the project that I have is believe it or not making YouTube videos okay um, so uh, ever since I started making YouTube videos I'm using my microscope much more often okay because now I have a real incentive to actually go out collect water samples look around for things that I can put under the microscope that I can share um, I have uh, an incentive now to also uh, try out different uh, tink tinker around a little bit with a microscope to improve my systems a little bit uh, because uh, that's my incentive and that's basically what I recommend is, is uh, go out find some kind of a project that keeps you active um, and keeps you using the microscopes I think I've made my point I hope I did I wish you all the best happy microbe hunting see you around next time bye bye